Good morning, everyone. My name is Katie. I am a fifth year teacher in the state of Florida. I am currently teaching third grade and you are here for a day in my teacher life. So excited to take you guys around for a day in my life. I was not feeling the weekly vlog this week. I did a weekly vlog last week. I'm um, clicking things on my board, you know the drill. Um, I did a weekly vlog last week and it took a lot of time and energy and it ended up being very long and I just wasn't feeling that this week. I was like, I, yesterday was Monday and I was like, I don't know if I'm down to like vlog my whole week and capture it all again. So I was like, we'll just do a day in my life this week. I like to kind of mix it up and post different videos for y'all anyways, which I feel like I've really done. I've done a routine video, a plan with me video, a week in my life, a day in my life. Um, so there's like a lot of different variety for you guys to watch. So if you're um, watching, please let me know what videos you've liked so far and which one's your favorite because I always like to make what you guys like to watch anyways, but today we're doing the day in my life. So it is a Tuesday, it is February 7th. Um, I'm here early this morning because I have a date with a copying machine. Yesterday during my planning, I had a lot of things that I was trying to copy and I got some of it done, but I also had to share the copying machine. So if I get here early on Tuesdays, usually I don't have to share the copying machine. So I have a lot of things that I'm trying to copy because we're gonna do writing on Friday and I haven't copied the new pages for our writer's notebooks because we're switching genres for writing. And I'm gonna be out in like two weeks and so I've started copying my sub plans for that slowly but surely because I like to have my sub plans done like a week in advance so I'm not like stressing right beforehand. I could just take it out of the drawer, read through it, make sure it's still up to date and then be good to go with that. Um, there were some other things. Yesterday I, I copied some Valentine's stuff and I actually did get that done. Um, I think that might be it. There's some math pages, some extension pages that I wanna use like tomorrow and um, Thursday in math because we're still doing division and we've been doing division for a long time. So I have some like enrichment pages that I wanna copy. But that's about it. I'm trying to think if there's anything new. I'm doing this new thing this week that's called not drinking coffee. So I've got my water with me. Um, and that's been interesting. Yesterday was day one, so I will keep you posted on that. Um, let me get these things up on my board. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take you through what we're working on in math today. Let me grab my book and my plans. All right, so here's what we've got going down in math today. The first thing we're gonna do is grade our homework from yesterday, which is always one of the practice pages. So I keep it on like yesterday's lesson right here so we can grade that homework and check over it. Um, then we will jump into, it's Tuesday, so we're doing our next times tables. If you've been watching my last couple of vlogs, every Tuesday we do a pretest and we're all the way up to sixes, which is exciting. We have a really great skip counting song for multiplying by sixes. I'm gonna have to take it down off the wall because I really don't want them to use it during this, um, well, they can use it if they've got it memorized, but I don't want them to like look up at the poster for the answers for this one, but it's to the tune of a Justin Bieber song, like Picture Perfect, I think is what it is, but it's, I can count by six is for sure, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and 42, 48, 54, 60, we're through, and so we've been practicing that since literally October, so I think that will help them um, with the sixes, we'll like sing the song before we do the pretest or whatever. And then they grade it and they take this home as, as well with this and they um, practice that for the next two days and we do a post test on Thursday. So we'll do that after we grade our homework. Then we're at the point in our lesson where we are at a mid chapter check, which is kind of nice. It gives me like a short moment to breathe. <laughs> it's like a mid progress check. Um, so they'll just go through, we go through it on our own and we'll like do these questions or I'll like go over the directions. They will do these questions at their seat with their privacy walls up. And then when they're finished, I'll have them work on their math warm up problems that we always do. I'll let them work on Tuesday problems and then they always get on iReady and work on a teacher assigned lesson, which I just have a bunch of division assigned stuff. And I always tell them like, if you're really good afterwards and you stay quiet while other people are working, I let them switch to the iReady math games for like the last five to 10 minutes. Um, so that's what our math block looks like. It should be pretty easy peasy today. While I have students working on this, sometimes I'll pull ones that I know are like struggling with the concept already and kind of give them a little bit more assistance on this little check. Um, and I put it in as just a quiz grade. So and that's what we're doing there. Then when we come back, we'll have snack. We're still reading through Tale of Despero. We're very, very close to the end though. So it's getting really good. Um, and then we'll jump into reading, but I will update you on what we're doing for reading at the end of the day. I do have a meeting after school. So after that meeting is over, I will give you like 
the down low on what we did in reading. So I'm gonna show you my outfit and then make it on up to the copying machine and cross my fingers that nobody's there yet. <laughs> All right, Tuesdays are our t-shirt Tuesdays, and this isn't exactly a t-shirt, it's a sweatshirt, but it's fine. Um, so I'm wearing this sweatshirt that I just got from Target. I actually love it so much. It's very, very soft, uh, very cute color, kind of auburn, which I like, uh, War Eagle. And I'm just wearing my A necklace from Ana Luisa and my little mini hoops, huggable hoops. And then I've got my teacher lanyard on, blue jeans from Old Navy, and my new kicks that I got at Christmas time. There's some grass on them but just some, um, I was about to say Old Navy. They're not Old Navy. Nike high tops, and I am wearing dark socks with them because it's cold this morning, and I have morning duties, so I'm gonna be outside on the playground, and it's gonna be cold until the sun comes out later. So that's my, like, comfortable outfit of the day, and I'm really feeling it. <laughs> All right, we just made it to the end of our Tuesday and I am currently sorting through papers that I copied this morning for writing. So I'm taking out the four that we're gonna do for our writer's journal on Friday, which is the basic informational writing page, the like um, elements of informational writing that we're gonna talk about. We won't get through all of them, but we're gonna start choosing a topic page because that's important and then a facts page. So those are the four that we're going to put into our writer's notebooks, but I went ahead and copied all the ones I would need for informational writing. So I'm sitting here, but I did not do it the smart way where the copier like sets it into groups for you. And that's what I should have done. Um, so I'm sitting here separating and taking those first four pages and separating it from the back four pages and making two separate stacks for that. Um, so the rest of the informational writing we will get to another time when we're doing informational writing but this will get us started i think the first informational writing we'll do is we might like pick a state and i'll let them do like an informational i need to look on epic and see if there's any um like epic libraries or collections that give them like state information since we just finished doing the 50 states i think they would enjoy that um, and they would kind of have a starting point, like a, let's find something about the climate and when the state became a state, find facts about the state. I think they would enjoy that. So that might be the first informational that we do since it kind of works on what we're doing in social studies. So I'm gonna share with you what we did for the rest of our day after my meeting, because I'm looking at the time. I'm so close to finishing sorting all these papers. I've been working on it during dismissal while my kids were being dismissed and their buses were arriving. Um, I keep turning around. This is the last, well, I don't know if this is the last one. This is the last few that I have, but I do have a meeting at 3.15 and I need to fill my water bottle, but it's only 3.03. .03. Oh good, I thought that said 3.08. I was like, crap, I'm gonna be late. Um, okay, so it's only 3.03. .03. I got time, I can whew, take a breath. So when I come back from that meeting, I will fill you in on what we did like academically for reading and for social studies. But while I'm sitting here sorting papers, I will say that I was so successful. My checklist for today, things that I had on my list were to grade the mid chapter checks from math, which I told you about this morning. They did so good. The average was a 90 and I had two of the questions as bonus points. Um, so a lot of them got over 100, but they did really well with those questions. So. So there's that. Um, I also had, I'm gonna be out with a sub in a couple weeks. And so I had finished my ELA plans for my sub. I like to work on those plans ahead of time, like I said this morning, and I do it piece by piece. So today's goal was to finish the language arts plans for my sub plans, and I did that. And then the other things I had where I needed to do some social studies copies for the day I had that sub, did that. And then I needed to Venmo a mom for Girl Scout cookies, and I did that. So I was very proud of myself for getting through like all of the, um, 
things on my to-do list today. So all I really have to do are sort these papers. When I come back to my room, I'll just update you on how the day went and then I'll be good to go, which is good because having a meeting makes the day longer. But this is a good meeting. It's the um, like you're new to our school meeting that we have once a month and we didn't have one last month. And so it'll be good to go visit with like all the new teachers who are new to this school. And it's usually not very time consuming. They're very like respectful of our time. So I'm not too stressed. Yay, look at this. It's done. So come with me. Let's put it in the um, cabinet in the door. Um, this is for Friday. So I'm going to take out my math things because we do math first. So it needs to stay on top. What is this? Oh, I'm missing. No. Yeah, that's right. That stays in there. All right. So I'm going to take out my math things and then put this in because this is for language arts and do that right there. Okay. Let's get this camera all adjusted real quick. Ta -da. So I'm going to go ahead. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of these because this is the extra. I think I have a file in there um, that I can put like these papers in and my originals in because these will be for the next time we do informational writing on a day seven. Whew, I feel like I ran a marathon today and um, the silver lining has been my shoes and my sweatshirt. Like at least I felt very comfortable and cozy and I love what I'm wearing today. So that's where we're at. Um, okay, I'm going to quit rambling. I'm going to go refill my water because I really need to do that before this meeting. Go enjoy this meeting and then come back and I'll check in with you then. meeting is over it was good we went over like mtss terms and response to intervention and all of that stuff um so that was a good refresher and there were crumble cookies as you saw i was eating my crumble cookie little um quarter and it was so good it was like the chocolate one with the chocolate icing delightful so i, I still need to work on my water though so i have just been working on putting students names in we give like awards for students who make ar point club goals and so I send that every Tuesday. So I went ahead and did that, checked my email, made sure my inbox was cleared. And now I'm ready to go over what we do. So I use, this is like my teaching central, teaching hub, sitting on my little rainbow stool. Can't see it, can you? There's my rainbow stool. Um, and I usually sit from here and use the document camera to put things up on the board. So I figured I'd sit from this angle of the classroom today. So we started out with our language review. We did day two. I just turn on a song on a playlist on Spotify. They have until the end of the song to finish. Then we go over the answers. So we did that first and then we finished the rest of our Titanic text. So what we did last week was we introduced the text and I shared a little bit about that in my last weekly vlog. Um, and then yesterday we reread the first half cause it's really long and we really sat through and like pulled out the vocabulary words, looked for figurative language, descriptive language, things like that, made connections with other texts, all those good things you would do when you're reading. Um, and we specifically looked at the setting of the story. So we filled in a chart yesterday that said, the setting of the story is blank, because what we're working on this week is, let me show you, we're working on that little sentence right there. So the setting is where the story takes place. It impacts the plots and the characters. So we talked about the Titanic. We talked about the setting of this particular story and how it was on the Titanic below deck. And the fact that it was below deck was actually very important because it was difficult for the, the girl in the story to like get back out because she had to go through the maze of hallways and all that stuff. So that's what we did yesterday. Today, we talked about how it impacted the story. So we read the rest of the text. We found some great figurative language, all those things. And I always put the text up on my board right here. And for today, while we read, since it was really long and I wanted the students to be like engaged in the reading, I read the odd number paragraphs and then we all read the even. So it was kind of back and forth and they had to be following along the whole time. 
Um, but I didn't single anybody out or do popcorn reading or anything. And I didn't have to read the whole thing. And I did that yesterday too. So we read the second half and then we talked about how does it impact the story. And I put a list of all of their different options up on the board and they came up with some really good examples. But the one that I wrote on the chart was it impacts the story because the sinking ship had steep hulls, no lights, and made it hard for the characters to escape. But we talked about how if this, like, if it wasn't on the Titanic, if it was on another boat, then half the plot of the story wouldn't even exist. The story would be completely different because half of the story is the girl and another little girl in the boat trying to escape from the sinking ship. So that went really well. As far as content goes, there was a lot of chatting during the lesson. And I just need to like be a little bit more firm. I think I've been lax about people just kind of like having side conversations. And I also think that we need to go through desks because some of our desks are a disaster and we have like they can't even fit things inside their desk. So there's a few students I have in mind that will be bringing all the contents of their desk to me and a lot of their extra frou-frou stuff will be going home because they need less things in their desk because they were just play like it was like stuff was everywhere. So we will work on that for tomorrow, but content wise, it went really well. So what they'll do tomorrow is they'll practice those same skills about finding the setting, identifying how it impacts the story with just a cold read passage that they just read on their own and they'll answer comprehension questions and then they apply that skill and write that sentence on their own. And then we also have like a five question quiz on the text that we've been working on all week this week. So that's kind of what it looks like for um, social studies we've been working on. Woo states in the Midwest. And so we did a quizzes today online. They love those. And it was great because our class average at the beginning was like a 59% yesterday. And then today it was up to 90. So I was like, yes, you studied all those things because we have a map quiz tomorrow. Um, so the last thing that I need to do before I leave school today was I was supposed to bring vinyl to Cricut numbers for our new mailbox at the house. And I wanted to use my Cricut that's here at school because I have my Cricut maker here at school and it cuts my like removable, um, just like regular vinyl better. Um, the one I have at home is the Explore Air. And for some reason I can't get it to cut regular vinyl all the way through. It's never cut all the way through, but it does just fine with like HTV, like the heat transfer one. I have no idea why. So, but I don't think I brought the vinyl. So I'm gonna look in my cabinet and if I have a white sheet of vinyl, I'm gonna cut those numbers. And if not, I'm gonna have to set a reminder on my phone to bring the vinyl tomorrow. So I do not forget. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Um, yeah, so that's all I've got for today. I'm gonna start to get my things checked for that vinyl and then get my things like ready to go so I can head out. Welcome to our master bath. Just got home. Check out the shower or lack thereof. <laughs> we have people who are doing work on our master shower. So this is the current situation. And when I came in, the door was open and it kind of smells like dirt in there. So I'm closing the door. Um, I'm glad to be home. I'm packing my things. David has a meeting tonight. So it's me loud. I'm walking on their cardboard. David has a meeting tonight. And so I am going to go get myself Chick-fil-A is usually what happens when I'm here by myself. I have meals planned for tomorrow night and for Thursday night, so don't don't stress. And we had a meal last night, um, but I don't have one for tonight. And so that's what I'm gonna go do, just to enjoy my little Chick-fil-A outing. So let's hit the road. I just got home and I'm leaving again, but it's nice to come home and like put my stuff down and then get in the car and go to Chick-fil-A. I'll go pick that up, come home and pick a show to watch while I wait for David to get home.
y'all. Okay, we made it to the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. If my camera falls, I'm sorry. I have it balancing like on my clock. Their prices have gone up. I mean, it was like $9 for my meal. I'm not saying I have buyer's remorse here, but a little bit. I mean, like $9 for my Chick-fil-A meal seems a little absurd. Like, I feel like I remember when it was like $6.75. So $9 is quite a bit. But I know what to expect. I know what I'm gonna get. I also appreciate that they have a Bible verse sitting right in here. What is it? Proverbs 22. Choose a good reputation over great riches for being held in high esteem is better than having silver or gold. I love that. But $9. Oof. So these better be some good nuggets and a good Dr. Pepper is all I'm saying. All I'm saying. It will be good after a long day. But I'm going to have to, um, David and I are doing like a financial stewardship class at church and he is so good at budgeting. I know I've mentioned it, mentioned this before, but like going through this class with him, I've realized like how blessed I truly am to be married to a wonderful man, which I've always known, but he's just so financially responsible or diligent about tracking our finances, which makes us feel more financially responsible. It is financially responsible to like keep up with that stuff. So Oh, I see a student from school. I'm look forward. <laughs> anyways, I just saw a third grader from school. Not in my class though. But anyways, I think like there's a lot of things financially that we want to start preparing for. Like for example, we're paying for those men to come work on our house and get us a shower. And after we get the shower and, and like the bathroom settled, house purchases will like way slow down, which is nice. It was a lot when we first bought the house and then it kind of died down and then it ramped back up this past month because we were like, okay, it's, it's like go time for some of these bathroom things that we've been putting off. But there are just other things that were kind of like, okay, it's time to start saving, doing this and this. So um, the days of just spontaneous Chick-fil-A may be ending soon. I'm also going to have to hold my camera because I'm about to round the corner. All right, I just got home with my Chick-fil-A and so now what I'm going to do just get a plate out because our living room is kind of a mess. <laughs> Here's the house update you may not have asked for. Here's the like cardboard that the people have been walking on so they don't get their shoes on the carpet. And um, here is our shower in the middle of the living room, this giant shower pan. It's really nice. Um, and it's gonna have like this drain cover right here. And that goes right there to make it look like a faux fringe drain, I think, or no, trench drain. Is that what it's called? I think it's a trench drain, LOL. Anyways, so that is going to go in there eventually, but right now it's in the middle of the living room and I've been washing linen. So like the curtains are down, the pillowcase covers that go on the couch are down, the blankets are all put up. So it's kind of like a weird situation and I've got some things to do. I need to start a load of laundry. And I need to like put all those linens up and I'm going to eat my Chick-fil-A and I'm going to watch a show. So I figured since I have all of that going on, I'm probably going to close my vlog out here. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I enjoyed being able to rant with you guys in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru and just hang out and show you a little bit more in depth of my day. Like I said at the beginning, comment what type of video you like because I always like to know what you guys like. But it was fun, like taking you guys along and giving you like a more detailed look because sometimes in the weekly vlogs, I'm very focused on like, let's hit the high points of the day and, um, and then move on because they're so long and my hair is not staying in this clip, y'all. This is a little ridiculous, a little ridiculous. Anyways, now that looks even worse. I'm going to shake it out. There we go. Needs to be washed tonight. So, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I always have new videos that come out every Saturday. I've been cranking out a lot of content and so I'm pretty like stocked on videos well ahead. Um, so, leave any ideas below. Leave any suggestions for teaching the things that I shared below. And if you made it this far, just comment with a thumbs up emoji because I've been all about like thumbs up lately. I don't know why. I've just been doing those a bunch. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.